Hi, my name is Patrick, but you can call me 26. And what we're going to do today is we're going to figure out how we can um, create a very popular uh, a, po a very popular feature in many apps, such as the YouTube app, where we hide the navigation bar when a user is scrolling, right? So in when you're browsing on the YouTube iOS um, app and you start scrolling, you will find that the navigation bar is going to be hidden. Now, usually to do this, you'd have to incorporate a fair bit amount of code. But in iOS 18, we can do it pretty much very easily using one of some of the new scroll view apis right and that's what we want to look at today so what we want to look at today is how we can hide our the navigation bar when the user starts scrolling using the new apis created um for the scroll view in ios uh, to use to show this and this is the app that we built uh, a couple of videos ago and what this app does is that it displays a number of pages that have been loaded so far um from an api so the api when we get to the very last element of um the array among the stuff that has been loaded we are going to lazy load the rest of the elements right and we're going to load them um as many of them as we need to load and then when we get to the end of that we're going to load more until we get to the end right so for example right now we started it we put it in a lazy v stack so we loaded the first 10 pages and when we scroll down and we get to page 10 you can see still see the navigation bar as i'm scrolling right what we want to do is make sure that as you're scrolling you don't see the navigation bar so that you can interact with the data but when you stop scrolling the navigation bar should come back that's what we're trying to do right so when we get to page 10 and uh, we jump all the way to page 24 that's what we load and when we get to 24 the same is going to happen maybe to 30 something and so on and so forth right depending on our connection and how many we can load with the lazy um Lazy Vista. So we've got, gotten all the way to 31. If you want to see that, I think the previous video deals with that. And there's another video that deals with setting up the network service to load this information uh, using the async await API, right? Using async await, right? So what we're going to do now is we want to figure out how we can um, hide the navigation bar when the user is scrolling, right? So for that, we need a Boolean. So a state Boolean. So we come here and we stay in the content view, right? State. And this is going to be var and this one is going to be called is scrolling and we're going to set this default right so this is going to be our boolean and then after our on, our on scroll target visibility change and the whole point of this on scroll target visibility change is that it is the one that is used if we could just open the code this is what we use to check whether or not we have hit the last element of the array that has been loaded which has been put into the characters array if we're in the last one load more right if there are more to be loaded if you get to the very end don't load more right but if you can still you still have more pages and we've gone over that we load it right so that's the going to be that but that was the um topic of the last video let's deal with the information about this one about this video right so the particular api we're interested in is going to be called on scroll phase change right now there are a couple of scroll phases there is when the scroll is idle right now when the scroll is idle that means the user is not uh, is not interacting then we, are, we have tracking we have interacting we have decelerating and we have animating right so we have a bunch of scroll options and that's what you're going to use right so we come here and we say dot on scroll phase right um on scroll phase change phase change like so and um let's get the first one right and what we want is we could come here hit this and we just want to we have the old phase we could have the old phase but we don't need to do to use that one so we just want the new phase right when it changes right so a new new phase we write new phase in for the closure and then what we want is um to switch on the new phase right so we come here and we say switch and we're just going to say on the new phase right and these are all the options so we have idle tracking interacting decelerating and animating but for our case we just want to make sure that we show the navigation um navigation bar when it's idle otherwise when it's tracking when the user is interacting with it when it's decelerating uh when it's animating we want to show the particular navigation bar right so what we could do is we could have idle here and for the idle we're just going to set the boolean to true so we come here and we say is scrolling is going to be set to true right now for these other cases we're just going to combine them so we could combine them by putting them in the same line right because it's going to do the same thing for all these others right so we say case and here it's going to be um case we're going to say dot tracking 
comma dot animating comma dot decelerating um and there's another one i think dot uh, interacting right so for all these what we're going to do is we're just going to say is scrolling is going to be set to true right so that's going to be a lot of the logic of what we need to do and we're going to come here and after this what you're going to do is you're going to say dot two bar dot two bar visibility right two bar visibility like so and here we're going to check whether is scrolling is true so if, if that is true we're going to say hidden right so when is scrolling when either of this is true just set it to hidden right and what we want um hidden and of course this is a ternary we want to say otherwise it's going to be visible so when um it falls so this means that when you are scrolling it's going to be hidden but otherwise it's going to be dot visible let's just con put the dot dot visible right um when you stop or when you start right when you start off it's going to be the boolean is going to be false right so that's going to be that and we want to tell it what we want to do it for now this should clue you in what else you could do if you see the toolbar placement you could also do this for um the what's it called the tab bar right so you could also use this to hide the tab bar right so this is going to be four and we could come here and we say navigation bar right so we do that and um so that's going to be that and um let's see it in action uh okay let's run this right oh we are setting it true to true right this should be false so let's come here and set this to false right so false so now we're going to see it when you start off you're going to see it but when you start scrolling it disappears right so let's just reload this and see it in action right and so it bleeds in a bit um it doesn't look too good but we'll figure it out let's just load it on a phone and see it of course you have to be in xcode 16 um to actually do all this right so give it a second it's installing um it's taking a sweet time well i could have run it so that okay fine we have this right so we have loaded 12 pages and when we scroll it disappears and when we stop scrolling it appears right but it looks a bit janky so what we would do is um maybe to smooth it out we could come here and we select this and we could just say with animation hit this come here and now for a code what you could do is you could take this phase come cut this paste this here and we want to say we want it to be ease in ease in out right ease in out maybe even give it a duration while we're at it duration is going to be 0 0.0.2 0 .2, right so we do that and maybe it's going to look a bit better let's just reload this and give it a second okay it disappears and it comes back it disappears and it comes back let's run it on the device and see it and maybe this will make it look better okay fine it disappears and when we stop scrolling it comes back and here it is 90 page 9 right and we could continue it disappears and when we stop scrolling it appears and when we scroll all the way to the top it appears right so this is how with just this little amount of code this is how you could hide and show the uh, navigation bar so thank you for watching subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll see you